Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at the newly revealed Vanguard box set for the Oruk War Clans. Last week, we saw some fantastic reveals at the Nova Open for the Oruk War Clans, the Iron Jaws in particular, but now it looks like we're getting even more Oruk produce as the Vanguard box set has been revealed. So, in this video, I'll go through all the contents, we'll have a look at the miniatures, I'll break down the prices compare it to how much they'd be individually, and also look at some other options where you could get these miniatures, maybe make some savings, and also have a look at what you could add to this Vanguard if you wanted to expand your army and concentrate on the Cruel Boys in particular. Before we get started though, a massive thank you to all my sponsors and supporters for helping me keep going with these daily videos and a huge thank you to you as well for following their links and supporting me here on the channel. A big shout out to Baron of Dice for an awesome collection of dice, but also these objective markers. These have been game changers in my recent Age of Sigma and 40k tournaments. And they've just sent out an email for a brand new dice as part of their Savage Alien Dice Collection. If you'd like to check it out on their website, links down below. Here we go then, we've got the Vanguard Oruk War Clans and all together this box set is going to give you 16 miniatures. These Vanguards are usually priced at £85 here in the UK and a great way to get started with the hobby. They've been quite good the ones they've been putting together recently and I think this is a good starting point as well. There are some better alternatives though but we'll cover those later on. The first unit that's going to be included here are the Gut Rippers. Now these are the ones that you can buy separately, so you can do them all with different weapons. You've got lots more options with how you assemble them. The ones from the Dominion box set, those were push fit and you could only do them in one way and with one weapon type. But now you've got a lot more options with this Gut Rippers set. If you were to buy these separately, you get 10 models and they're going to come in at £35. Next up, the Vanguard set includes a set of three Man Skewer Bolt Boys. These are going to be £32.50 if you bought them separately. And again, you've got some options here with how you assemble them. You're going to get a variety of interchangeable heads and crossbow components, so you can certainly make them look very different. And if you were to buy another set of these separately, or maybe even two Vanguard sets, then you could make them all look slightly different. If you're looking for something with a bit more heavy artillery, the Vanguard set also includes the Beast Skewer Killbow. This is £22.50 and this is going to be used to take down some of the tougher monsters and creatures in Age of Sigma. Leading the pack here, you're going to get a killer boss on Great Nashtooth. And at the moment, you can't buy this on the Games Workshop website separately, so there's no actual official price for this one that we can compare it to, but I'll look at some options later on again so you can see where you could get this if you didn't want to get the Vanguard. And then back in him up, you're going to get this model here. This is a Merc Knob, and he's a champion who revels in taking heads. This particular Merc Knob is going to be holding a Belcher banner, which is infused with shamanic magic and provides nearby units with protection from spells. There you go, then that's all the models that are going to be included. And this would actually be a nice set to pick up if you wanted to play Warcry with them as well. I think you've got some nice options and variety there. You've got the close combat, you've got the ranged ones, you've got a Mystic there with the Merc Knob and Belcher Banner, and then you've got the Killer Boss on the Great Nashtooth who can cover a lot more ground. So a nice selection, not just for Age of Sigmar, but for Warcry too. But let's have a look at the prices and see how much all this would come to if you were to buy them separately. Here you can see you've got £35 for the Gut Rippers, you've got £32.50 for the Man Skewer Bolt Boys, and then £22.50 for the Beast Skewer Kill Boy. Without the prices for the Killer Boss and for the Merc Knob, it's going to be very difficult to really make this accurate, but with just those three prices for the units at the bottom, it's going to come to £90. So already we're going to be making a saving by picking up the Vanguard without even taking into account the price of the two units at the top. So best case, this would be £90. And then if we look at some of the other Vanguards that are available, then pretty much £85 here in the UK. So let's take that £90, we'll take off the 85 and of course that's going to leave us with a nice saving of £5 and again not taking into account those two units which are going to add up because they're quite big units, they're characters, so altogether there's probably a really good saving here. 
But don't forget, Dominion is still available. I've seen this for £100 at the moment. You can find it in loads of different places. Your friendly local game stores, online, eBay, Amazon even do it for like £125. And look at all the cruel boys you get in there. You get a huge selection, a ton more miniatures. Now, they're not going to be the same in respect of how you can put them together. They're going to be push fit. You can't make the gut rippers with different weapons. You'd have to build them as you see here with like the spears. But still, you get a lot of models and they're really good ones. On top of that, you'll also get the hardback core book, which I think is one of the best books I've seen for all of the Warhammer games. I think it's so well done. It's a beautiful book, really well put together. And then also included, you get the supplement, the start here, War Amberstone Watch. Not sure the value of that really, but for me, the core book, I think is just fantastic. The Dominion box also includes the War Scrolls for Cruel Boys and Stormcast Eternals, because let's not forget, you also get the Stormcast Eternals, and you get this lot in there too. So if you could get this set for £100 still, it's £15 more than the Vanguard. Maybe you wouldn't get the 20% discount on top. So even if we say you get your 20% discount at your friendly local game store or online retailer, that's going to take it to 68 For £32 more, you get everything you see here in the picture. You get more Cruel Boys, you get pretty much an army of Stormcast Eternals, a great book, and the War Scrolls too. So for me, Dominion is still a fantastic box. It may be old, may have been round for a while, but the value there is incredible. And when you consider the prices of Games Workshop going up all the time, this still being held at that 100 to 125 mark is a steal, I think. And here's some of the models that you would get in it that you could have with your Cruel Boys in addition to the ones you would get in the Vanguard set. Here's the Swamp Caller Shaman and Potgrot, two fantastic models, some of my favourite. I think these are just brilliant. And there's no reason why you couldn't use this particular Shaman and proxy them for one of the others from the different War Clans, maybe for the Iron Jaws or the Bone Splitters. I'm sure that would work if you wanted to do that. You've also got another Killer Boss here and his Grot Companion at the bottom. Great model again. This is going to give you more characters, more options for your heroes, and so when you want to build your army and put more of those in, you're certainly going to have different abilities they bring to the table. And then you're going to get 20 Hobgrots, which are pretty good actually, really fun to paint, really fun to play, and yeah, again, this would all be very good for Warcry as well. Okay, so whether you've gone for the Vanguard set or you managed to get hold of the Dominion box set, there's a very good chance you're still going to want to add something to the army. So let's have a look at some of the other units that could be an option. And here you've got Gobsprack, the Mouth of Mork at £95. This is a great looking model. Not as big as I thought. I saw it for in the first time built up on the table about a week ago. And yeah, it still looked awesome, but not quite as big as I would have hoped it would be for the price especially. Here's the same kit, different build option. This is the Killer Boss on Corpse Ripper Vulture. So you've got lots of options. If you bought two kits, you could have these two different ones or just buy one kit and choose one of them. And then you've got options like this Snatcher Boss on Sludge Raker Beast. Some great bigger models for the Cruel Boys, like this Swamp Boss Scumdreck as well. Another build option there. Then there's this one. You could go for the Marsh Crawler Slogoth, a real sinister looking character, this one, but really awesome. And then finally, we've got the Breaker Boss on Maya Brute Trogoth, which I absolutely love. A great looking model. And I think if you picked any of these ones and added it to the Vanguard, you're going to have a ton of fun with it. As far as like rules go or competitive play, you'd have to be a bit more selective maybe. But a good looking army, that Vanguard with one of these, it's going to be brilliant. If you get the Vanguard, you're going to want the rules, and I guess you're going to pick up the Warwick War Clans Battle Tome. This is going to be £32.50, and it doesn't just give you the rules for the Cruel Boys, the Iron Jaws, and the Bone Splitters are in there too, and you've got the option to play them individually as separate armies, or you can mash all the models together and do a big war. That'd be awesome fun. There's some great rules in there. Personally, I'm an Iron Jaws fan. That's my next army that I'm putting together for Age of Sigmar. I'll be getting on with that pretty soon, so look out for those videos coming up on the channel. And with all the new reveals we saw last week, Iron Jaws are looking awesome. And free rules too! If you like the look of this Auric War Clans Vanguard set, then hopefully we'll get a date soon and it should be made available. But when you do get it, if you want to see how I painted my Cruel Boys from the Dominion box set, I've got a load of videos up on the channel. You can see how the Merc knob was painted up, how I speed painted the 20 Hobgrots and 10 Gut Rippers as well, all with contrast paints to get them tabletop ready in no time. 
All up, there's some promise here with the Crawboys Vanguard, but I'd be definitely tempted to look at that Dominion box set. I think there's a lot more value to be had there. But if you want to go the simpler route, the Vanguard is the place to do it. You haven't got to worry about perhaps selling on the Stormcast Eternals, or maybe you've got the core book already, so you just don't want the hassle, then that's where the Vanguard comes in, I think. But hopefully this video has been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, it'd be great if you hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Table top skirmish game. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.